Hello. I thought I would surprise you with a rare sighting of me. I'm normally very shy and I like to stay behind the camera. This is the camera I normally use. But I thought I'd pop out today just to say hi and to say that there is a real human being who's making these videos. In case you were wondering, yes, it's me with my COVID hair and my scruffy casual arting clothes because they have to be casual because I normally get very messy. So anyway, just wanted to say hi and hope you're well and happy and um, thanks for watching. Hi there. So what I'm hoping to do on this page is create my version of a, do they call it a card flip? Well, I've seen a few things on the internet where they fix a card and then you flip to see underneath it. But I was thinking it's difficult to read and I don't want to bend this card. So I'm going to make a swivel. See? And I'm going to use one of these star shaped brads and I'm going to hide whoops, the tip because the tip is going to come through here and I'm going to turn this into a pocket so it will hide it might be a bump but it will hide it so then I've got to strengthen this page with this bit of card and it will all become apparent as I do it and just to say that my camera my, my laptop is well, it's not very well, even though I've just had it fixed. I think it's getting to the stage now where it's too old. So I'm going to have to do this in snippets because it doesn't seem to handle long stretches of film. So I'm going to have to keep stopping and starting. But there we go. Such is the way of it at the moment. So I'm all for making things easy. So when I want to get a piece of card to match my page, I use pages that I've taken out of the book as a template and so I simply place this inside and I know that I just have to trim along and along here and I have the correct size but in this instance I'm just going to trim along the bottom because I want to keep this and it's going to be a flap that goes over the envelope that's on the other side so you have to remember these things.
So, um, continuing this um, spread and pocket. So, I've got this one working now. And over here, I've covered the, the pointy brad tips with um, tape. And I'm now going to make this into a pocket by putting that like that. But um, before I do, I'm thinking that I might do a closure with a couple of these, using a couple of these kind of brads. So I need to do that before I stick, oops, before I stick this down. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I want to show you the mistake that I made so that you don't make it if you're trying to do this. I started, oh it's gone out of focus, there you go. I started putting the other brad there, which I thought was good because it was near that one, but actually it's not good because it was too fiddly um, to put the closure loop in. So I'm making it out here now. Um... the video went funny <laughs> on that one but anyway um, I cut it off oops that way up I cut a strip off and technical difficulties aside I am making progress so oh yeah look I covered the back of the brad because I'm going to be using this as a pocket so I want the whatever I put in I want it to be able to slide over it and not keep catching on it so that's another tip um, if you're making one of these because I'm hoping eventually that oops, oh, let's get this going better I'm hoping eventually that this will go in I might have to trim this a little bit so anyway, I've trimmed that edge off, so now with this brad in place as well, I, I feel like I'm making a mountain out of a molehill here, but um, if you have a better way, <laughs> or if you know how to do those sort of closures, then let me know. But meanwhile, I found some elastic bands. That could work. But I think this one will be better. Oh yes, there we go. I just hope that those brads can take that because that works quite well. Um, yeah, but this is all getting messed up by that, which is annoying me. So I'm going to put an edge on here. And it's worth remembering, actually, something that I've found quite often is that it's, um, when you're making pockets like this, gluing the edges is the very, very last thing you do because um, you end up fiddling around and if you want to put nice edges on, you, you just can't do it when that's stuck down. So at least I remembered that. <laughs> so I'm going to put an edge on this.
like this. And I'm going to put sticky tape. Oh, there you go. Oh, dear. I'm going to put sticky, extra, extra hot, um, extra strong sticky tape along this bit because this washi tape is not too tacky. In fact, it never has been very tacky. I won't be buying this again. Um, I can't even remember what the brand was, but it has never been very tacky. But it's quite pretty. So what I tend to do is put glue underneath it. And in this case, I'm going to use sellotape. So I've placed the double-sided sticky tape. And this stuff is really good. You know how it is, you find something that's good and then you keep using it and using it. Well, I find myself using this for loads of things just because it works. It's just really strong. Anyway, so this bit's always fiddly, so I did this haha, before I put the camera on. Take that bit off. No, that's not going anywhere. Oh, nice. I can trim the end. And trim this end. Fiddly, 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 fiddly. Oh. That's better. So that will protect the edge a bit when that comes down, like that. Right, and now I'm ready to do um, the edge. So I'm going to do a double whammy of tape. And I've got some glue, which is this stuff. Oop, mono aqua. Mono liquid glue by Tombow. I find this is pretty good. And it's um, it's a bit sort of plasticky, so it's got a bit of give in it, which is good. So that's what I'll do next. So I'm just about to do the edges. And I'm going to go, I'm going to put a bead Oops. of... Now I've got messy now. That is not good. A bit worried about that bit. Right. So this comes off. And this comes off. And we should. a nice pocket. So I've trimmed this down just a little bit and I've also gessoed the back. You can still see some of it through but it means that I can use this to write on now. So there you go, that goes in here. It goes over there. And ta -da. And so um, I'm going to leave this spread for now because I'm not sure what to put on it. And I'll come back. But I'm going to be naughty and I'm going to start this spread which I want to do a collage on and you'll see that in the next video so in typical fashion I must apologize that I'm going to be going slightly forward and back but it's curious isn't it I mean I really really tried to do this in order but it must just be the way things work out that sometimes you can't but um, 
Yeah, so I'm going to do a collage. And I'll come back and do this in another video. Ooh, lots of videos to come. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one and got a few ideas to do swivels and more fun. Oh, look, I blanked this page out and it says, I ain't going mad. So, yeah, just about not going mad. It's my journaling that keeps me relatively sane. Or maybe it's just an outlet for my madness. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you're having fun following these videos and doing art of your own. So I'll say bye for now and see you next time.